problem here in the first problem one table is given class intervals and frequency and the question is and the problem is if the model class of the data is 10 to 15 then f is f is equals to the options are f less than 8 if greater than or equals to 8 f less than 7 and f less than 3 so here in the given problem one table is given and in also given that model class of data is equals to 10 to 15 this is the model class that is the given data again now what is the frequency value that is a given question now what is the meaning of the model class model class means the class having the highest frequency is called the model class the class having the highest frequency so here already we have that the frequency is 7 6 4 3 these are the frequencies now we want the value which is greater than all these values that is we want the value that is greater than 7 already here we have the highest frequency among the given values is 7 but we want the frequency greater than 7 here the condition is f greater than 7 so here the, the options are first option f less than 8 which is not correct answer second option f greater than or equals to 8 this is the correct option f greater than 7 means f greater than or equals to 8 so second option is the correct answer next problem if two supplementary angles are in the ratio 5 is to 7 then one of the angles in degrees the options are 85 70 105 120 so given that the two supplementary angles are in the ratio 5 is to 7 so ratio is equal to 5 is to 7 means angles are taken as 5x comma 7x what is given supplementary angles that is 5x plus 7x is equal to 180 12x is equal to 180 then the value of x is equals to 180 by 12 is equals to 15 this this is x value now what are the angles first angle 5x 5x means first angle 5x that is 5 into 15 5 into 15 is equals to 75 and the second angle 7x that is 7 into 15 7 into 15 is equals to 105 so but 75 is not given in the option so answer is equals to 105 that is the third option the sides of the triangle area are in the ratio 12 is to 7 is to 25 and its perimeter is 540 centimeters then its greatest side is in centimeters the options are 250 315 165 and 180 so given that sides of your triangle area are in the ratio 12 is to 17 is to 25 the sides are in the ratio 12 is to 7 is to 25 that is the sides are taken as 12x 7x and 25x these are the sides what is given perimeter is equal to 540 what is perimeter perimeter is nothing but the sum of the three sides that is 12x plus 12x plus 17x plus 25x is equals to 540 this is this is the given data sum of the sides sum of the sides is equal to 540 then the number 54x is equal to 540 then the value of x is equals to 540 by 54 is equals to 10 now this is x value what is the given question what is the greatest side so 12x to 17x to 25x what is the greatest side 25x that is 25 into but x value is equal to 10 that is 250 so 250 is the greatest side that is the first option next problem if the circumference of a circle is 264 centimeters then its area is in centimeters the options are 24 24 42 36 18 so given that circumference is equal to 264 so, so this is the circumference this is the circle what is the circumference of the circle circumference of the circle is nothing but the 2 pi r. this 2 pi r is equal to 264 what is pi value 22 by 7 so 2 into 22 44 44 by 7 into r therefore this 44 is cancelled by 6 times that is r by 7 is equal to 6 and the value of r is equal to 7 into 6 42 42 means this is the second option problem a is equal to 10x square minus 7x y plus 2y square and b is equal to 8x y minus 3y square minus x square then 2b minus a is equal to so two polynomials are given here we want to find the value of 2b minus a so this is 2 into b value 2 into b value 8xy minus 3y square minus x square minus a value 10x square minus 7xy plus 2y square now this is equals to first we multiply these three numbers by 2 that is 16xy minus 6y square minus 2x square applying the minus to these three terms minus 10x square minus of minus plus 7xy minus 2y square and this is equals to minus 2x square minus 10x square minus 12x square 16xy plus 7xy that is 23xy 
minus 6 y square minus 2 y square minus 8 y square which is the third option third option is 23 x y minus 8 y square minus 12 x square so third option is the correct answer if the ratio of the diameters of the two circles is 3 is to 4 then the ratio of their circumference is so given that ratio of the diameters of the two circles these are the two circles now this is the diameter of the first circle which is d1 and this is the diameter of the second circle that is d2 so given that d1 is to d2 is equal to 3 is to 4 now what is d1 d1 is nothing but r1 plus r1 that is r1 plus r1 to r1 r1 is the radius of the first circle r1 plus r1 now what is d2 from the diagram r2 plus r2 that is 2 r2 so r2 r1 is to 2 r2 is equal to 3 is to 4 that is r1 is to r2 is equal to 3 is to 4 now what we want the ratio of the circumference so circumference of the first circle is equals to 2 pi r1 and the circumference of the second circle is equals to 2 pi r2 what is the ratio that is 2 pi r1 is to 2 pi r2 here 2 pi and 2 pi gets cancelled now this is equals to r1 is to r2 but what is r1 is to r2 3 is to 4 so this is the last option the length of the rectangular field is 8 meters less than twice its breadth if the perimeter of the rectangular field is 56 meters then its area is equals to so given that length the length of the rectangular field is 8 meters less than twice its breadth that is the given condition and also given perimeter of the rectangle so first we take the rectangle here length is equals to l and breadth is equals to b we are taking length and breadth are l comma b what is given length of the rectangular field that is l is equals to 8 meters less than twice its breadth twice its breadth 2 into breadth 8 meters less 2b minus 8 8 meters less than twice its breadth that is l is equal to 2b minus 8 this is the given condition also given that perimeter is equal to 56 what is the perimeter of the rectangle 2 into l plus b perimeter is equal to 56 that is 2 into l plus b is equal to 56 and l plus b is equal to 28 by 2 is cancelled by 28 times l plus b is equal to 28 but what is l value l is equal to 2b minus 8 that is 2b minus 8 plus b is equal to 28 that is 3b is equal to 28 plus 8 36 then the value of b is equal to 12 so here breadth is equal to 12 now what is length value l is equal to 2b minus 8 so he already here we have b is equal to 12 so b is equal to 12 2b is equals 2 into 12 24 24 minus 8 is equals to 16 this is l value what is the given question its area is equals to so area is equals to formula lb given that we want to find the value of area area is equals to lb that is 12 into 16 12 6 0 72 7 12 1 0 12 7 192 that is the first option area is equals to 192 next problem the area of the rectangular field is 1125 meters and if it's if its width is equal to 25 meters then the perimeter of the rectangular field is options are 140 144 156 200 given that area of the rectangular field this is the rectangle area of the rectangle field means lb l into b is equal to 1125 and also given that width is equal to 25 that is b value is given so l into 25 is equal to 1125 then the value of l is equal to 1125 by 25 that is equal to 45 it is cancelled by 45 times now what is the given question perimeter perimeter formula 2 into l plus b that is 2 into 25 plus 45 that is 2 into 70 equals to 140 that is the first option next problem if two cubes each of volume 64 centimeter cube are joined end to end together then the total surface area of the resulting cuboid is in centimeters the options are 158 160 182 and 178 so two cubes each of volume 64 two cubes are there each of volume is equal to 64 so volume of the cube means the formula is a cube given that a cube is equal to 64 that is a is equal a cube is equals to 4 cube then the value of a is equals to 4 that is 
each side of a cube is equal to 4. So given that here we have that each side of a cube is equal to 4. So similarly here also we have that each side of a cube is equal to 4. And the continuation if the two cubes are joined end to end together like that. So here when we joined two cubes like that. So here when we join the two cubes then we get the cuboid which is like this and here the breadth is not changed this value is equal to 4 and here height is also not changed height is equal to 4 but the length the value is changed this becomes 4 plus 4 that is equals to 8 so here in this cuboid we get l is equals to 8 and the breadth b is equals to 4 and the height h is equals to 4 now what is the given question what is the total surface area of the cuboid the formula total surface area of the cuboid is 2 into lb plus bh plus hl now replacing the values 2 into lb 8 into 4 32 plus bh 4 into 4 16 plus lh 8 into 4 32 now this is 64 plus 16 that is 80 2 into 80 is equals to 160 that is the second option next problem if x minus y is equal to 9 and x into y is equal to 5 then the value of x cube minus y cube is equal to the options are 864 794 496 and 379 so given that x minus y is equals to 9 and x into y is equal to 5 we want the value of x cube minus y cube and the formula for x cube minus y cube is x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square and this is equals to so already here we have that x minus y is equals to 9 9 into x square plus y square plus xy xy value is equals to 5 x square y square first we take these two plus 5 and this is 9 into again in place of x square plus y square we take the value x minus y whole square plus 2xy plus 5 this is the formula x square plus y square is equals to x minus y whole square plus 2xy and this is 9 into x minus y 9 x minus y whole square 81 plus 2 into xy xy is equals to 5 2 into 5 10 plus 5 91 plus 5 96 is equals to 54 5 81 86 864 that is the first option next problem one of the factors of 144x square minus 81y square is the so here the given question is 144x square minus 81y square so 144x square is nothing but 12x whole square and 81y square is nothing but 9y whole square which is in the form of a square minus b square that is a plus b into a minus b a plus b 12x plus 9y into a minus b 12x minus 9y and this is equals to 12x plus 9y taking 3 common here then we get 4x plus 3y here also taking 3 common then we get 4x minus 3y now 3 3 is 9 9 into 4x plus 3y into 4x minus 3y so the here the factors are 4x plus 3y and 4x minus 3y but 4x plus 3y is not given in the options 4x minus 3y is given this is the correct answer which is the second option